Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Hope you're enjoying this crazy, crazy train ride today. This idea was actually brought to us by the amazing Lance Travis. He um, approached Venom and said, you know, what do you think of putting together a train where we just collide all techniques? Experiment day, just get out of the box and be wacky. So here it is today. I hope you've enjoyed um, Shannon from Shambi Art that was on before me. If you missed it, just you can always go back to the link and make sure you watch it. Fantastic lady and a great artist. But with Lance, unfortunately, he couldn't make it here today. Um, his mum has been quite unwell and we send Lance and his mum all our love and best wishes and hoping that she has a speedy, speedy recovery. We're thinking of you, mate. Take care to you and your mum. Okay, so today I'm going to do a ring pour bloom for you. So I've got all my colours here, all custom. So, but I just thought you could at least have a bit of a look and see what colours I've added to the cup. So I'll move those aside. And what we'll do, we've already laid our pillow paint on our little coaster tile here and I think we might just get into it and start pouring. Let's hopefully, hopefully it turns out. If not, we can just put another technique over the top. That's the joy of this train ride today. Every stop on the next station is going to be a crazy different technique. Bit exciting, right? I think so. Great concept. Might pick up a new addiction. I'll tell you, uh, Venom and I have been playing with these ring pour blooms for a few weeks now. And they're highly addictive. Highly addictive. So, if you get addicted, once you try, don't blame me. I've warned you. It's in the disclaimer. All right, this is looking pretty cool. Look at those colours. Love using the three primaries. A little bit more through the centre there. I'm thinking that's gone exactly how I wanted it to. Yeah, I think we're going to not be greedy there, and we'll leave that um, ring pour at that. Look at those circles. Looks like an eye in the centre. I hope the camera's picking it up, because that's pretty cool to look at you. Alrighty, so let's put some cell activator down. Oh, of course I had to rock it just that little bit, didn't I? We'll centre our eyes looking at me. Blow a few of these little bubbles away first. Yeah, lucky I did that now, right? That's alright, we could have just gone over it with a radial swipe later. Just having some fun. Alright, that will do for that one, I think. We might go over it with a black... grab out our little mini blower. Such a cool little toy. Let's blow this one out. Number one. dark in that center. Let's see why. 
See if we can give it some light. Those rings are looking pretty cool on the outskirts. All right, now we had a little bit of purple popping through on the edge there. Now we might go in. Do some enhancing. It's all about playing, isn't it? Bit of fun. Hopefully once we spin it, create some magic with these beautiful rings. It is really stunning. Put some little flicks through those. All right, I think we might spin him and see what he does for us. Okay. get that a bit faster. I can see as that's moving that center is getting a really nice purple through the blue. Hmm. We might pop that up and have a look at that. Alrighty. That's our one little double technique, ring pour bloom. I think we might pause it there and I think I'm going to have time to do one more. So I think we might follow it up with a ring pour radial. See you in a moment. Alrighty, and we're back for our second one. So before I start though, I just wanted to put a big shout out and um, we're thinking of you, Nathan from The Art of Distraction. He was meant to join us today. But unfortunately, he's been quite unwell this week, so he's not going to be able to make it. But that's okay. There's always another time. But I just wanted to send out all our love and best wishes and hope you're feeling really good soon, mate. So, next one we're going to do, we're going to start laying some colour. And I think on this one, we're going to stick to the first plan and we're going to do a radial swipe. So we're going to lay our colours down first. So I've changed all colours again on this one. I just thought, you know, we can't do two of the same colour pattern. So we've changed it up. And this is a Bubble Styles ring pull, by the way, too. I can never just stick to the centre. It's experiment day, right? There is no right or wrong. Oh, that's looking pretty cool. So far so good with this different colour choice because I really hadn't practised anything with that. Maybe I shouldn't talk too soon, right? <laughs> We're not there yet. Alright. Just about there. I'm get a bit thicker through there. Definitely going to get some of that blue back to the center. It's a really gorgeous color. All right, that might do us there. Geez, it might be a shame to um, radial swipe on these too. The colors just look really good. I hope that camera's picking it up for you because that is really cool. 
Might move it around just a bit. All right, I think we'll add some cell activator. Get our little tool out, mini version for the coaster day. And let's see how we go. We might end up with a bloom over a radial swipe if it doesn't turn out too well. Now, I might put a little bit of blue on this too, just a dab. Tiny bit. Okie dokie. Now, right where I want it. See how that starts to come through for us. Hopefully I've made a right choice of colour and things go well. So far so good. Alright, I might just grab the straw where that's a little bit thicker in that centre. What we might do is move some of these over too. There we go. Make that bubble a bit bigger. That's pretty cool, right? We'll just manipulate it how we want it. Gotta love a good experiment day. Rocks my world. There we go. Got some good bubbles there. Now, I'm thinking actually what we might do is spin it before we get too tempted and get that skewer into it. Might just see what it's going to do first, I think. I'm going to put it up a little bit because I don't want to lose a lot of what's sitting down the bottom there. We'll just take it for a slow spin first and see what it's going to do for us. That's better. Now what we might do is come over and we're going to bring it down a little bit. Maybe a tad more. Okie dokie. I'm loving that blue cell activator coming through. Now what we might do is bring it back to center. Just give it one more. Make sure we've got no air bubbles trapped in there. See, always a lucky pink bubble. It's pretty cool. All right. So, don't forget too, we have an amazing special guest after me, the lovely Angie Mason. Make sure you drop in and say hello. I'm sure she's about to give us a new great adventure. Alrighty. You know what? I think I might just leave it alone now. That's looking pretty cool. Alright, so this one is our ring paw followed up by a radial swipe. So I'll turn it around and I'll sit it down for you so you can have a look. There we go. And the colours change. Well I'm happy with that. Winner winner. Woohoo! Always makes you smile doesn't it when an experiment pans out. So get out of the box, guys. Start mixing it up. Have some fun. And I must say, thank you so much for joining us here today on the crazy train. Wouldn't be an adventure without you. So that's it for me. So take care, and I'll see you in the next Student versus Teacher. Thanks, guys.